Modeling the Volume of a Sphere, Lesson 13.3a. A sphere is a three-dimensional figure with all points the same distance from the center. So imagine a sphere with a center point at the very inside core, and there are points going in every direction from the center to all these points around here. These are all the same distance from the center. The radius of a sphere is the distance from the center to any point on the sphere. Unlike a cylinder, cone, prism, or pyramid, a sphere has no base. We saw the experiment in video 13.2a where we found a cone has one-third the volume of a cylinder that has the same radius and height. We can do a similar experiment with a sphere with the same radius. We fill the sphere with rice, pour the rice into the cylinder to compare their volumes. So here I have my bowl of rice again, and I have a sphere that I've filled with rice. See that? And this sphere has the same radius as this cylinder here. Look at, see how this center line around the sphere fits right like this? It has the same diameter and radius as this cylinder. Now, it's completely filled with rice. If we pour this rice into the cylinder, how much rice do you think we'll put in here? You can shake all of this in. You can see I have a one-third mark and kind of a faint two-thirds mark on the cylinder. We pour this whole thing in here. This is going to help us with the formula for a sphere. So I've got all the rice in there now, and we can jiggle this. Look at that. It's two-thirds. It filled the cylinder two-thirds of the way, and they have the same radius. See that? If I take this apart, it matches this one perfectly. See? The cylinder and the sphere have the same radius or diameter. The result of our experiment was that a sphere with the same radius as a cylinder has two-thirds the volume of that cylinder. The cylinder's height is equal to two times the radius of the sphere. So here we have the radius of the sphere. If we turn it sideways, it will take two of these radii for the height of that cylinder. That's when they have the same radius. So this is the radius of the cylinder from here to here. It's the same length as for the sphere from here to here. If we turn it sideways, it'll take two of those. So the cylinder's height is equal to two times the radius of the sphere. Now let's compare the formulas for a cylinder, cone, and sphere. So we learned about the volume of a cylinder. It's pi r squared to find the area of the base. And we multiply it by the height. We know the volume. For the cone, we found that when we filled the cone with rice, it filled the cylinder one-third of the way. It took three of these cones to fill it all the way. So we have one-third pi r squared for the base area times the height. And that'll give us the volume of the cone. Now we found that the sphere fills the cylinder two-thirds of the way. So the formula for the volume of a sphere is V is equal to two-thirds pi r squared h. We write the formula. V is equal to base times height, for volume is equal to base times height, using pi r squared for B, that's for the base, for each shape. We substitute the known fractions into the formulas for the cone and sphere. So we substitute in the one-third, or the two-thirds. So here we have our cylinder, cone, and sphere. And I want you to look and observe that the sphere's height is two times its radius. So here's its radius, right? If I turn it this way, and we have two radii, that would be its height. That's two r, two radius. This means we can substitute two r for h, for the height, in the formula for the volume of a sphere. We have one radius, two radius. We can say the height is 2r. We have the volume is equal to 2 thirds pi r squared times 2r. And we simplify by multiplying the 2 thirds times the 2. That'll give us 4 thirds. And 
we multiply this r squared by the r in here. And that's really r to the first power. We get 4 thirds pi r cubed. 4 thirds pi r to the third power. Now how did I do that? We multiplied 2 times 2 thirds, which got us 4 thirds, and then we multiplied the r squared times this r. When you see r with no exponent, it's really r to the first power. There's an invisible one exponent. When we multiply like bases, we add the exponents. That means we have r to the second power plus 1. We have 4 thirds pi r to the third power. We have volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, or to the third power, either way it's the same thing, is the formula for the volume of a sphere. Now, multiplying powers with like bases, so this is the base, that's the power, okay? This is the base, that's the power. For any rational number a and all whole numbers m and n, we would have a to the m power times a to the n power. See how they have the same base a? It means we would add m plus n. When we're multiplying bases that are alike, we add the exponents. So we would have a to the m plus n. So r to the second power times r to that invisible first power would be r to the 2 plus 1 or r to the third power. So be careful when you're doing this. This is only for multiplying powers with like bases. This is not for dividing or adding or subtracting. It's multiplying. We're finished with 13 point A. We're going to move on to B, finding the volume of a sphere using a formula. If you'd like to try this experiment or the one with the cone in the cylinder, I recommend getting these geometric solids, and you can see it's by a company right down here called Learning Resources. And you can find them online. They have many teaching materials. These are great because you get to actually play with the 3D shapes. Let me open this up. The geometric solids, and it comes with all different colors of solids, prisms. we got a cone here. And these are great to work with as manipulatives. So it's Geometric Solids by Learning Resources. You'll be able to do the cylinder and sphere experiment with some rice. You'll also be able to do the cone and cylinder experiment. Have a wonderful day and join me for Part B. Bye.